hay una satisfacción más grande en la vida que ver una persona en el medio de un problema llevarle una sonrisa, ¿no? My next guests are doing just that. Joining me right now is entrepreneur, co-founder of Be Strong Global Better, Bethany Frankel. Also with us is Michael Capone, the founder and director of Global Empowerment Mission. Good to see you both. Thanks so much for joining us. Tell us what you've done and how it's going. Uh, we've really tried to operate independently. I think what the real story here is how the country came together. We, we realized that we, we had collected aid in Miami, for example, that was two, three million pounds. And we realized that there was aid that had been collected all over the United States, literally yeah. every single city. And w Bethany and I would sit and she would just tweet we're collecting aid from the nation. Right. And literally we had, I'm not exaggerating, 10, 18 wheeler trucks drop off aid to our warehouse every single day for like a month and a half. Go ahead, from Bethany. Cincinnati, I need to from say this New York, from Chicago, yeah. everywhere. All the volunteers here are in this because they love what they do. And the best gratitude that you can receive is when a person is so grateful. I'm a board member of Global Empowerment Mission and I'm also the founder of Third Wave Volunteers. Third Wave Volunteers joined with Global Empowerment Mission, who we'd work with in Haiti, and also We Do Better. So we came together as an alliance to collect all the aid from around America. And then, through another contact uh, with Global Empowerment, uh, we got in touch with Yona Makita. And that was the missing link because they're on the ground. It's so important to work with the people that are already in place on the ground doing all the work too. So it was a great alliance of coming together um, to be able to get the trucks and the volunteers and everything like that. So we're so happy to be involved with Yona Makita. Alison nos ayuda a nosotros con lo que es eh, la etapa de distribución y de las misiones. Por parte de Global Empowerment, hacemos la distribución de lo que es el alimento y en las tardes llevarle la luz a aquellos que no la tienen. This is a very different disaster than other countries because the electricity was completely wiped out and also there was many problems with the water and logistics was really hard because we've just come off the Haiti Matthew hurricane, we were in Texas hurricane and then Florida hurricane and then it was hard for, to come to Puerto Rico at first because all the resources were used up in all the other hurricanes so poor Puerto Rico didn't have all the money and resources that we would usually have because we have one big disaster a year, not four. My name is Omar Rosario and I'm the executive um, board member of Global Empowerment Mission. The team for me is very important because everyone works in conjunto. And at the end of the day, pues, dream team, right? That's what we need to be able to take things to the people. I think the hardest part about the missions here in Puerto Rico is seeing the very old people, the 80 and 90 year olds in their homes, in the dark, without any refrigeration for their medications or maybe for their milk and their food. You know, you will go up and knock on doors and, and the man is like 96 years old living alone. So it's hard to see the old people in such conditions and also on a lot of the planes. You know, a lot of 80, 90 year olds who have never left or been on a plane are on those planes. I've been doing disasters for 20 years, every major disaster around the world. But what I saw in Miami, People were coming and giving and giving and giving, and they had not much. They would go to Publix and get a little bags and bring it, but they came together and worked as a community. And I've, that's what I've really found special, more than even all the other disasters, is the, the people all coming together and helping each other as a community. And I really loved that, and that what is, that's what inspired me. And on the ground, everyone's been so nice. You get lost and 13 people are trying to help you find your way. So, this is all the two containers. They're going to have a big distribution in the next few days. Can't even get down that part, but it's all good. So it's, it's, it's a really special, the Puerto Ricans are a very special breed of people. Yo no me cuito, Global Empowerment, Michael, Bobby, Third Wave, it's all here. Together with a little bit of everything, from toilet paper to cereal to beans and rice and everything else that you need to eat. <laughs> example of what's in this container. This is with Skyline and it's all water filters for the people. The most comforting part of being in Puerto Rico, it's the spirit of the Puerto Rican people. You know, there's, up, even though things are really hard, they're still upbeat and they still smile and they're like, come to my home and I'll feed you. And Hay veces que necesitan un abrazo, no solamente la compra, necesitan que tú los escuches. 
necesitan que tú los mires y tú les digas, oye, estoy aquí contigo, te quiero ayudar. Y esa es la experiencia más gratificante que tú te puedes llevar de todo esto, que como 12 horas cambian tu vida para siempre. The reasons why I don't give up is there's always hope, and there's always a new day, and as we've seen, like all the trees were destroyed and it was brown, but now you look at them, there's green and green and it's growing back again, so life keeps moving on, and I don't give up also for the next generations, for the kids, I like to be with the kids and we can teach them and educate them, so there's always hope and there's always a new day. Uh, to find out about the foundation Be Strong Global Better Initiative or make a donation, go to globalempowermentmission.org.